Grüezi and welcome back to Green Hell, where today we are going for an exploration. But first, let me show you my base. Because as I, did, as I said, I did finish everything in mod construction. So it took me about two in-game days to do everything. And the only two noticeable things that happened in that time was I hunted a capybara and it stopped raining. We have sunshine again. It stopped, I think, after the first day, so I had to run down to the river a couple of times for water. But I did get a few more bidons. I think they're lying on the floor here somewhere. Maybe not. I still have them. Maybe I should leave them here, because we're not going to need them for the exploration. I also got myself some blue mushrooms, which are great for our exploration efforts. So that's nice how they stack there. I also moved over one, or actually two of my pots maybe even all of them, from the cave there, so everything's here now. And for some reason I forgot to cook this last top here meat here. It's probably just gonna spoil, but oh well. So, we do have no meat on us, so maybe we should take something with us. We can actually just eat that one. Or maybe even take a sip of the soup. Probably gonna be even better. Because now we're practically full, we can pop a banana and then just go. Anything here that I would like to leave behind. Uh, I do not want to get rid of the obsidian stone. I could drop the feathers or I could just make arrows. That's probably the smarter idea. Let's uh, make some arrows. Uh, I have 12 feathers. That's six arrows. Right, two, two feathers per arrow. So uh, yeah, let's just do the arrows. And afterwards we can go. I might even leave some arrows behind because I don't think I need more than two stacks of them. They're not quite heavy, but still. They take up valuable spa space in the inventory. Or backpack, as I should probably call it, because it's a backpack, not an inventory. The backpack serves as inventory. It's probably the better way to say this. Why did I unlock the blade axe? What special thing did I do? That is um, a mystery to me. Okay, I'll try to just drop those arrows here. Uh, it's getting a bit of a cluster here with um, loose items lying around. So what I'm probably going to do is make chests soon. Let's actually already prepare that. So the chests are here, storage box. I think we will just have one in each of those places. Of those niches. I think that's about fine. And then the last one we might need to move the coconuts, but I think it's gonna be fine. Oh, that thing is in the way. Um, can I cut that down? Oh, not what I wanted. Still not what I wanted. That was working. Perfect. If you hit a building too many times, you're actually deconstructing the building. Uh, which, especially for these mud buildings, is a really bad thing because you're going to lose all the mud. Every other type of thing will just give you some resources back. Not everything, but at least some. So yeah, with three chests, I think we're going to be set up just fine. I also replaced the roof here for uh, one that allows us to put a ladder. Let's actually just put a ladder already. We will not construct anything uh, and likely will not do that in this episode. Just so we have a general rule or layout of what we want here. And I will probably do the construction of these things off camera again. Because it just takes a while. You've seen how it works. And it's not all that interesting to watch. So I guess for now we're going to go for an exploration. Uh, I do want my water though. And I can leave those behind. Anything else I can leave behind? Not really. I have a lot of nuts. Maybe I should not leave, take all the nuts. That's fun. Are they on my head or something? I probably don't need any of the nuts, to be honest. I have something dry for the fire. Honestly, I don't need a tobacco flower. Something like this. I also don't need the resin. 
So I guess it's a better layout here. Two bananas, some of that. Yeah, I might just take one meat with me. Something for the way. All right, so ready now. I also still have four bricks left over, which we can use to build anything we want. So, but from here, we need to follow this path to the left in order to get down. I think I've already shown that location down there. Um, but yeah, that's the way we need to go. It is very beautiful on this day. Being able to see everything is just so nice. Yeah, I think I gathered a long stick down there, if I remember correctly. Yeah, down there. Would have also been an interesting location to build, honestly, but oh well. Interesting, but annoying, because, you know, we couldn't really transport anything there. Alright, we have arrived, and we are going down. Climbing place. I would be terrified to use that, something like that in a jungle situation in real life. I'd be okay, like, in a climbing hall but, or something, but yeah. So, that's a nice cave with a river coming out of it. It's probably going to be very easy to find again. Also, we, we always have the map, obviously, so... Uh, speaking of the map, we are currently down here. Uh, the river, unfortunately, doesn't show up, but basically there's not much land here before we hit the ocean, or what it looks like, at least. So, as far as I remember, there's not really anything here on this part. Uh, the reason why I am going to do for this exploration is because I want more tortoise shells. Uh, I currently have two plus the metal pot, but I need to have... Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> sorry buddy, I need to have at least uh, six tortoise shells, or six um, containers, let's say, so I can have five tortoise shells and one metal pot. Let's wash ourselves. I don't want to walk around dirty. What would the natives think? Uh, I can actually take a sip of water. Let's do that. Oh. I need two mushrooms, right. We're also not really good on energy anymore already. Let's maybe take one of these then. Perfect. So we want to look at all those kind of... Um, what is it called? Chores. Because that's where usually the... Uh, tortoises walk around and sometimes they're really hard to find I'm lucky that I already found one I once went on an exploration didn't find any at all uh, but this is a good site I always like finding these mushrooms which will allow us to maybe even run a little in places where we can see any kinds of perils let me take that mushroom look at that so much energy in one place all right, any more? No, that's... I mean, there's like fixed spawns for stuff, and this spawn happened to be a dead parrot instead of a potential... Uh, what's it called? Tortoise. So, no tortoise here. But it's a very big area here, and I'm not quite sure whether they also can spawn on these islands. I think I've never seen one, but that doesn't mean there can't be one. See, there's a toucan... Not quite sure whether that is a guaranteed possible spawn for um, tortoises. Is that even the plural of tortoise? But yeah. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. I kind of like and also dislike this area because it's so much water you will often have to swim to places. And because of the foliage, it's always hard to see the tortoises. Um, in the only other place I know where they can spawn uh, is at a very long, broad river in near the uh, fishing camp. So along this river here, they can also spawn. And there, they're just on the beach, plain and visible. So here it's a bit more difficult. But I mean, we already have three. We only need two more. And I will probably just make... Or managed to get one more. I've never managed to get more than two in one run. Because they're kind of a rare spawn. But yeah. 
in some of these places there can also be crocodiles or alligators or whatever they are. So I have to be a little bit careful here. Luckily they are very loud. There is actually also a new patch out. Are these piranhas? Oh, there is one. So they're very fast when swimming. Okay, combat music. I'm not sure whether it has... Yes, it has seen me. Uh, the problem is that now I don't see where it is. There. Okay, I will just try to kill it so that it's gone. Come on, buddy. Come to land. Come to daddy. I'm here. Come to me. Why is it walking sideways? Okay, that took care of that problem. So yeah, I'm not sure whether there's more now and whether those are piranhas or not. But uh, I'll not want to go further in this direction. Yeah, I have to do a little swim here. Should be safe now. I can always use other paths to get to my locations. Any more tortoises here? Certainly a difficult thing to look for all the time. There is some other things that we can find in this general area here. And I will also show you those. But it's gonna take a bit of walking slash swimming to get there. So that looked like a hat from afar. It's kind of like a maze with these paths where you don't have to swim. And I'm not always finding those, so... Sometimes it's just getting lost a little bit. I guess this one is for swimming... No, it's not. Actually, also, completely don't have my orientation anymore, so let's check here. I'm looking south, so, okay, we're probably somewhere around here. I'm still going the right way, it's the, the important stuff. So, no tortoise is here. Oh, there is those. Let's eat one of them. That was some water and carbs. Very great. Do not touch those frogs. Let's, uh, I want to have a look on this side here. Is that just a freestanding rock or is this kind of connected? Not. Nice. As far as you can tell, it's also not a very dangerous area. Like, there's the frogs, but I mean, you have to be deliberately picking them up most of the time in order to uh, get any bad events to happen. But yeah, uh, given that we have not much energy, let's just get, get another drink ah. here. Because we need to eat those mushrooms. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I think, yeah, that's probably about it for interesting stuff in the area behind here. Let me just check here. There's a chance for tortoises, but also I think there's a landmark here, but I might be wrong. Maybe it's not quite here. I hear something walking. Maybe there's a tortoise nearby. Or I'm losing my mind. One of those two. But I think it's not here, the landmark. No, I think I must have mistaken the sound for something else. But yeah, it's also not here, so let's just move on then. Some dead animal or some some uh, poop on the floor. Which is attracting flies. I like how these mangrove trees look like. It's really a nice shape for a tree. Alright, so we want to continue on this, like, small path in up front there. And I think it might just be that area there on the right. Which has the thing that we, we want. Also, there's that island, which I think I haven't been to yet. We'll have to check that. No tortoise here. We can just walk over there. But I think there's also not no tortoise on this side. We'll see. They're usually not really in the bushes, but they can always wander in there. Slowly, but they can. But yeah, 
I don't see any. So, let me unlock that area here. Yeah, it's a climbing place and I need a grappling hook gun, which we currently do not have. That gives you already an idea that there's a place where we can get a grappling hook gun. <gasps> Jesus, that scared me. Where is it? I have never seen one here. I hear him walking, but I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Come out and play. It's so hard to see you. There we go. Is he dead? I think he's dead. We'll find out. Yeah, there we go. I've never seen one so close to this side of the shore. That's why I was so scared suddenly. Oh well. Uh, yeah, we're checking this island there when we go back. But I don't think we're going to find anything there. Uh, difficulty getting through here. At least, as far as I know, there's no snakes to worry about in this region. Ooh, that's nice. Thank you. This is a great source of carbs. And whenever you find one of these, you should always take it. Because it's something that doesn't spoil. And having something that doesn't spoil is always a great thing to have. It's like the coconuts. So you can also always stockpile coconuts. Uh, for that very reason. I don't usually do that because coconuts are very easy to find. Uh, but this gives actually a lot of carps. And sometimes I have trouble finding that. And having a deposit of carps whenever you need it is a good thing to have. Ooh, we found one. Sorry, friend. We need your shell. I wonder whether you couldn't just make a bowl out of clay. I mean, you can make clay. You might have to, to do the mud brick thing and then burn it in a furnace or something. But I could imagine that would be totally possible. Also, we need to wash ourselves. We are dirty. And if, you're, if you have a keen eye, you will have already spotted something when I was walking this direction before. And this is going to be what we're going to be looking at right now okay out of anything Ooh, hello spidey <gasps> so bags of something that are being buried it looks like and then we have this one here and that one so two big shelters as well as a tent here along with mice always those mice cans we can't pick up and a whole lot of other things we can't pick up. There's an empty can there, but I don't really care about the empty ones. So let's see whether we can actually get into one of those. That looks like a door, but we can't go in there. Any openings on other sides? It doesn't look like it. I'm never sure in which ones of those you can go into. But yeah, this one is uh, closed. I think in the story mode they will open. But yeah, this one is open. Thank God. So here we will also find a new map. And we should now have access to that to see our new location. So this is a... I don't know what kind of cave is shown here. There is no actual cave in this location. Or maybe that's the, the cave entrance to where the river goes out. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that was the grappling hook gun location we were just at. And now we're in the Omega camp. Uh, we would should also go to those two islands to make sure of the locations. And I'm probably only going to be scouting this area here. I will not go all the way there. Uh, because it is quite a big walk. And... Honestly, apart from like story stuff, there's not much going on. Instant coffee, yes please. It's probably not going to be any good, but it's something we can't get otherwise. Anything else to loot? Not in here. Also, we should probably get rid of that leech. There we go. <sighs> there's uh, masks everywhere. Some tea, nice. If I can take it. Nothing interesting here. Some canned milk. Interesting. Also something you wouldn't even get in a jungle otherwise. 
These look like military clothes. And that is an indication of what might have happened here. Also, gas masks everywhere. Alright, there's some tobacco, but I think we don't need that. Okay, so we have explored this area. What the hell is this light? <laughs> that is weird. Um, we should go a bit more west and south. So, this is east and south. But I do want to walk around the water to see whether we find more tortoises. Tortoises. Also, with this darkness, I might just also camp there for the night. So, I will just like walk around there and then probably just go back to our base. Because all we really cared for is the tortoise shells. We have two. We needed one more. Um, if we don't get it, we'll just do another exploration at a later stage. But I think I've, I think I've never seen a tortoise in this area of the map. Also, it's getting hard to see anything. So even, even if there was one, it's probably going to be very hard to spot it. Yeah, but there's nothing here that I could have seen. Alright, so that was the whole... That was a great view on my map. That was the whole walk, like, around the bottom here. I think we're, like, before these cliffs here. Either these or these. But either way, we're gonna go back. And there's a snake here. <laughs> Plain and open. If you want to hunt, that's not the way to do it. Uh, let me see, how long are these mushrooms still good? The, the thing is, I can't really use those for... ...to replace sleep, because we're gonna have to sleep, otherwise we'll get insomnia again. Which is uh, not a great thing to have. And also, I mean, like, it's more comfortable for you guys to walk on places where it's bright. Um, there is another location here that looks like we could go up there, but it seems not to be the case. Also, I hear stuff walking and I'm not quite sure what that is. That was probably just this location here. Uh, let me check. Uh, that was the wrong key. That was the key I wanted. For 2634 2634 yeah that no way that is here so yeah I'm, I'm at this ledge and not at this one but that's fine I don't think I actually don't remember where it continues from here I think probably we'll have to we didn't find a grappling hook gun yet but I know where this one is uh, but yeah let's just take a nap in this container here uh, there they're hard to see with all the jungle or I'm just blind it's one of those two all right let's have ourselves a nap just so we have some daylight it's gonna be easier uh, I will probably just sleep a little longer than just until four Like one more hour. Comfortable sleep. Nice. Nice. 5.30 should be plenty of light to at least start seeing stuff again. And what do we need? Pretty much everything. Let's eat ourselves the meat that we got. And we can eat that one. It's going to go bad any second now. We need some water, which we still have on us. We could also drink some of the dirty water. It's probably a better option because... Ooh, we should probably also take that. We can actually just eat those for water. Also works. Eh, almost full. I think that's fine. If we need more, we can just eat, eat uh, blue mushrooms. Alright, from here, we need to go pretty much straight east. And that's probably that island right there. So we should find a way to go there that doesn't lead to too, through too much water. Also, we should still have a look on whether or not we find more tortoises. 
although I doubt it. We will walk around every island we find. I think we haven't been on this one before. So, just a short walk around. But it looks like we can continue in that direction. Also, this is a nice path there. Yeah, no tortoises. East is there. No, that looks like we're gonna have to dive or just swim a little bit. But if we're quick, there should not be a big danger from uh, crocs. In so thick bushes, it's probably gonna be impossible to find any crocuses. There's even like stones over here. Nice. Um, all right, let's walk around the island first. Frogs everywhere, but no third boss. I like saying turtle way more than tortoise. I don't know, for me it's a weird word. So many trees. Some poop on the floor. Lighting change. It's a bit sad that it does this lighting change. I, I mean, I know that it's kind of necessary, but it's very obvious this way. Oh, there we go. Just one. Nice. I believe that the number of leeches you get is also tied to uh, how dirty you are. At least to some degree. And yes, I've just walked past something interesting, but I'm gonna go there in just a sec. I just want to loop around the island here for a second. And I believe that is our starting point. No, no, not quite. Over here is our starting point. Okay, so on we go. To the interesting part here. So we have our location here. And uh, that's just a stone circle, basically. So that's all that's to it. And now we need to go northwest. A bit more north than west. It's pretty much this direction. Is there a way? Yeah, it's actually pretty good over the stones here. <clears throat> and probably just I'm continuing. Over the back there, the path that we just saw before. Potentially, maybe no. Can't look at my watch while I'm swimming. Okay, I should be safe. Yeah, it is the right direction. Um, where's that? That's probably the island, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Also, a coconut just hit the floor here. Some more energy for us. Be quiet, you. That was an interesting shadow. Look on the plant. We just see the shadow of the arrow, but not of the bow or my character. That's interesting. So the thing I'm looking for is this one here, a small cave, which is where we find the grappling hook gun. That's obviously a story related um, place. So, all right, let's do the loop around the island to find ourselves another, ooh, bananas, nice, to find ourselves a tortoise, hopefully. Ooh, and hill, no thanks. I think I walked here already. Not behind here, though. Behind the rock. It doesn't really look like um, beach terrain, so I'm not sure that can even spawn tortoise because they can only spawn on beaches, basically. Let me take one nut for good luck. There's so, so many avocados here, or whatever fruit that is. Also, a lot of big fish, which 
I'm pretty sure are not piranhas, otherwise they will just bite my ankles for a second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no tortoise in this end. I think I've been here already, so let's... Um, we just basically need to go north to go get back there. We can look for tortoises again on the locations we've already been, but it's very unlikely they might have respawned. Though it is a new day, so... New day, new luck, maybe? We'll see. Let's do that swim. With a little jump in the water there. Okay, I think we're fine. I should have already heard the croc for it to catch up to me. So the first one I found on the north side of the river where we came out from the from the cave. And I will just check that area in general a bit more. Is there no good way to get over there? Or maybe here? Oops, I thought I wouldn't swim, but all right. I guess towards here and then there, probably, maybe. Doesn't look like a path though. Um, that was, I think that was where we were attacked by the crocodile before. But yeah, let's do this. There is a new patch on the beta branch of the game on Steam. Uh, that has a whole new location and some new structures we can build, specifically a balcony for for our bases, which is very nice to look at, I think. And also, the patch makes it that a crocodile will no longer instantly kill you, which I think is sad because I think if your crocodile gets you, you're pre you're basically dead. There's there's almost zero chance of you surviving that. I mean, we all know the, the movie Crocodile Dundee, of course, but I'm not sure how many people actually survived a, a big crocodile attack. I'm pretty sure there's statistics, but I don't mind. I don't care looking those up. All right, so we should be back on the part here where the river comes out. Pretty sure, at least. Are there more blue mushrooms? There indeed are. Nice. That meat spoiled. That's all right. We did the, eat the meat that we actually wanted to eat. And if I can just do this right, it will go a bit faster. Any more. Let's just eat one more. We can eat another one here. That's fine. All right. Tortoises. Any more. I thought for a second that uh, mushroom looked like one, but sadly no. So they are unlikely to be on like a riverbank. So we'll look here and if there's nothing here, we'll just go back towards home. But it looks like we're getting a dead parrot instead of a tortoise. So unlucky for us, I guess. And uh, by the way, leaving something like a dead parrot in place does not prevent new things from spawning. Uh, maybe there's a lower chance, but it doesn't prevent stuff. Because, I mean, you can easily have... That's actually a good prime example. You can have something spawn in something else. That's like a spawning node. And it spawned one of those mushrooms and one of those plants at the same time. But yeah, I think no more tortoises for us. It was a very successful run, don't mind you. Um, but yeah, time to go back home. And... Yeah, maybe drink some tea. <laughs> like a civilized person. Oh, that's, that's bad. Some unfinished textures there on the stone. Yeah, generally I feel like the, the further you go towards south there the less complete those areas feel because they are basically just exclusively for story purposes. But maybe that's just my impression. I think I started playing Green Hell while it was still in uh, Early Access, though I'm not quite sure anymore whether that's the case. So yeah, that was a, a good trip here, I would say. 
successful. And you know, we can always uh, use coconut halves to... That's not what I want to do here. That's just one though, right? The reason why I don't want to hear that is because they can destroy your bases, which so far it doesn't look like it happened. Yeah, looks everything looks normal. Um, the there's I think three variants that can spawn or four even of those. One of them has a bow. One of them has stones, just or stones and or knives. One of them has a spear. And maybe it's only three. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, there's like different variants. And the only ones that can destroy your base are the ones with spears. So I don't don't want those to spawn. And there is actually a trap we can build that is specifically anti-humans. And actually that's one. Bow trap is one of them. And the other one I think I do not have access to for some reason. There should be like a spike wall or something, I think. Hello. Capybara or tapir. I think it's a tapir. So yeah, let's put that there. We don't see any spoiling on this one, but that's maybe just because it's sitting there. Not quite sure. Uh, we'll probably also put the tea down. We don't need to carry that with us. I will keep the instant coffee because it's probably going to be difficult to find on the floor. And... Yeah, it looks like also this one should also go on the floor. We are set up very well. What am I missing? Probably me. Oh, water. Interesting. Uh, let's just drink from the, the Biden since we have that on us. Perfect. And I think this is a good place to stop the episode. Uh, Probably between episodes, I will also complete the new structures we have placed. So those three boxes, as well as the ladder. And uh, then we can potentially think of what we want to do on the roof. But yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching. Have a very good time and goodbye.